chemical engineering, one of the hardest degrees in the entire world, was actually pretty easy. I have a bachelor's and a master's in chemical engineering and my grades were over 91% every single time. And this is how I made the hardest degree in the entire world become one of the easiest degrees. Firstly is your foundation. So you need to know what the core of chemical engineering is and how that relates to your A-level GCSE IB content. If you are currently in high school, the most important subject for you to focus on if you want to do chemical engineering is mathematics. Every single person I know that went into chemical engineering thought that chemical engineering was just going to be a lot of chemistry. There were no chemistry at all. I took a gap year before going into university and doing that has helped me a lot because I did further maths in my gap year and because of that I basically did no studying for maths at all in my first two years which meant that I had an extra I don't know like 20 hours a week to do all my other subjects. Having a really strong foundation in maths will really get you far in engineering. Secondly, every concept out there when it comes to chemical engineering can always be linked back to foundational topics in maths again. And the best part is because chemical engineering is so kind of entwined with our day to day life, like literally in your engine, in your car, it uses chemical engineering techniques and concepts and your refrigerator and AC and literally everything that you have in your house has some form of chemical engineering in it. It makes it so much easier for you to visualize what's happening. If I wasn't able to visualize it, I don't think I would have been able to get to the point right now. Number three is a bit of a hack, I suppose. When it comes to doing exams, I get really good grades because I do a lot of practice. And how I do my practice is to literally search up famous universities that I'm not in, maybe even the ones that I'm in, but like MIT, Harvard, Cambridge, those kind of things, and just search up their engineering module that you're doing. For example, if you're doing thermodynamics, search up thermodynamics, MIT, free PDF, past papers or just topic questions or question papers, whatever it is that you want to say, where you have a bunch of questions in it. I literally grinded that. I was doing MIT questions for my exam, which was like maybe 50% easier. Oh, and the bonus number four for you. I also do all my exams like an hour early before it's done. And I just sit there. I don't leave the hall. I just sit there and I go through the exam paper again in my head or I go through it again physically. Like I actually do the entire exam question twice, three times, however many times I want to. Courseworks were probably the most difficult to get good grades in. I go for a lot of feedback sessions with my professor. I ask them to take a look at it. And I also ask my seniors to take a look at it. And also joining societies, especially joining chemical engineering society or whatever society your degree is in, that would be super helpful because that means you're going to be able to share a lot of like your notes with your seniors and a lot of your notes with your younger years as well. So yeah, give it a go. Go take chemical engineering. Let me know if it was easy.